वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट डिस्कवरीज विच इज एल के नाइन्टी नाइन नाउ एल के नाइन्टी नाइन इज अ सुपर कंडक्टिव मटीरियल विच हैज बीन रिसेंटली डिस्कवर्ड एंड विद दिस वी कैन नाउ टॉक अबाउट लेविटेटिंग ट्रेन्स एंड वी कैन ऑल्सो टॉक अबाउट सुपर कंप्यूटर्स विद रिड्यूज पावर कंजम्पन द आइडिया इज द कंप्यूटिंग कॉस्ट वुड रिड्यूज एंड इवन द ए आई द कंप्यूटेशन फॉर द ए आई वुड बिकम सिंपलर एंड cheaper so this breakthrough has a very important uh, landmark in history three of the scientists from south korea uh, these three scientists are named as lee kim and kong and in the name of their initials it is lk 99 it is believed has been mentioned as 1999 was the landmark year where the idea of creating superconductors at room temperature was actually brought in so the material which has been recently designed is known as lk99 what happens when electric current is carried by a metal wire there is a lot of electrical resistance and a huge amount of energy which is generated is lost in the process with superconductors there can be a high amount of saving that can be generated and therefore reducing the cost for electricity transmission the same goes with computing reducing the cost for computations so definitely what is this lk99 made of is an interesting idea in 1986 it was believed that superconductivity has to be attained with minus 240 degree celsius for some copper oxides but that would be under high pressure conditions now if i want to actually do it at a normal temperature and pressure conditions i have to create a situation where the temperature would be actually lowered down to maintain it on to a normal circumstance so there were various experiments and the maximum temperature that was generated was minus 100 degrees celsius but still it required immense pressure with the latest development in the field of technology this lk99 has recently been an interesting study so because the idea is we have a uh, phosphate or phosphorus atom surrounded by four oxygen atoms now when this phosphorus is surrounded by four oxygen atoms there is a tetrahedron shape or a pyramidal shape structure which is created and the material which is generated is known as hydroxy hydroxy apatite apatite now hydroxy apatite is considered as the basis for uh, the study and here within this structure you would have lead that would be seen embedded now this lead in certain cases has been replaced by copper a 10% replacement of copper would generate the lk99 series and this is one of the major discoveries because uh, what is believed that with the copper substituted lead epitate uh, which would be generated there would be essentially zero resistance for the flow of electric current and this would be a game changer now knowing more about superconductors their uses and applications is indeed a very important topic for your upcoming examination so with this discovery that was landmark for today we uh, close the topic here but in our next class we would be talking about superconductors their uses and applications extremely important for this year's mains as well as prelims 24 so stay tuned for updates